If I told you the easiest way to success in 2024 was to simply write it down on a bit of paper, you would probably think I was mad and didn't know what I was talking about. Which is why in this video, I'm gonna share with you the strategies we use to create a goal and break that down into actionable steps to create the ultimate business plan so that you can smash this year and make sure it's your best year ever. This year is gonna be one of the best years to start a video editing agency. There is a huge demand. There's not many people doing it, which means Means the market is massive and you can capitalize on that right away. As running a video production company myself, working with major brands all over the world, having a team of people and a full scale studio, video editing is a huge part of our workflow and we do just offer video editing services on their own, which is why I know that people who apply this strategy are gonna have great results. So let's get straight into it. So we need to start with the end in mind. We need to know what direction the ship is heading and what destination it's going before we can even set off. Otherwise, it's just going to be a complete mess and we're not going to know what direction we're going in. So let's set ourselves a goal. And an easy goal to set ourselves is going to be a financial goal because it's easily trackable. And let's face it, we're in business to make money, right? Money enables us to buy better equipment, to live out our dreams, to go on amazing holidays and whatever it is that you want to spend it on. So let's set a monetary goal. And we're going to set an achievable goal but one that might not feel like that at the moment in time, and that's $100,000 for 2024. So when you set any goal in your business, you need to follow this SMART method, which stands for specific, setting yourself a specific goal. M is measurable, how are we gonna measure that? Well, with this goal, we're measuring it through our finances. A is asking yourself, is it achievable? And of course it is, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that in a minute. R stands for realistic. Is it a realistic goal or is it too ambitious? And that kind of comes with the achievable nature. And for us, it's certainly realistic. And T is time scales. And of course, it's our goal for 2024. It's our goal for the next 12 months. So yes, 100% we have set a time frame for that as well to help keep us accountable. So if you're just starting out or you've been going a couple of years and can't quite break through that six figure target, you're probably sitting there thinking, Ross, how the hell can we get that? And that's where we now need to start to backwards engineer our business plan. So now we've got the destination, we can start to figure out what does that look like on a month by month or day by day basis. So the first thing we're gonna start with is working out how many days in the year, averagely speaking, are there to work? So when we don't account for weekends, how many working days are there? And that works out to be around about 260 working days. So if we simply divide our $100,000 target by 260 working days, that means that we need to generate about $384 per day or $48 per hour. So you can already see that that goal is starting to sound a little bit more achievable, but you're probably thinking, but Ross, that means that I've got to work all 260 days. What about holidays and things like that? So really what we want to be doing is working fewer days overall and getting paid more. So let's say we want to charge $500 per day. That's around about $62 per hour, which is gonna be a very reasonable rate for a video editor. Now, of course, your goal or your target might be different to the numbers that we're gonna be running through in this video, and that's fine. If your target's a quarter of a million or a million, or it's 50,000 or even just 20,000 because you're starting out, this strategy still works exactly the same. And it's important that you use this if you want to achieve that goal. But be brave and be ambitious because it definitely pays dividends in the long run. So by charging a simple hourly rate of $62 or a daily rate of around about $500, that means that we now only have to work 200 days to get our target, which saves us around about two months worth of work. How do we go from these kind of fictitious numbers or numbers on a piece of paper to actually gaining real income? And this is where any business model comes down to traffic, leads, and conversions. So it's about the amount of people who notice you, the amount of conversations that you're having with those people, and then the amount of people who actually end up buying from you. So I've got a question for you. Out of every 10 conversations, out of every 10 business meetings that you have with someone about doing some video editing work, how many of those convert into being paying clients? Now let's say that your conversion is 
50%. Which is, I mean, if you were having a meeting with someone, by the way, then they're already pre-qualified. They're saying that, yes, I am interested in video editing services. And then it's just about you convincing them that you're the right person for them. So if you're having 10 meetings and you're only getting half of those people, so you're only getting five clients actually paying from you, then you probably need to, you know, make some tweaks to get better conversion rates. So hopefully your conversion is better. But for the, this example, let's just say your conversion is 50%. So for every 10 meetings that you have, you only get five clients paying you. Now, the next question is, well, how regularly are those clients going to come back to you? And in my experience for editing work, clients will come back to us around about six times a year on average, unless we put them onto a contract. So that's now six times $500 per day, which gives you a yearly value of $3,000 per client or $15,000 for every 10 clients you speak to. So just to make sure the maths is really clear, you've got 10 conversations with businesses, five of those end up being paying clients. They come back to use you on average six times a year. That's six times your day rate, and this case is $500. That's $3,000 generated per client over the year, and that for the five clients ends up being $15,000 for every 10 clients that you speak to because you're closing five of those deals. So that means that based on these numbers, we need approximately 66 clients to hit our goal. Now, of course, some clients will pay more, some clients will pay less, but the numbers still check out and it gives you a target that we're going to dive deeper into to build out more of that business plan in a moment. Now, here's where things get really interesting. In order to get 66 clients, we need to have 132 conversations based on the fact that you're only able to currently convert 50% of the meetings that you're having. I would certainly hope that your conversions are higher. And if they're not, then definitely make some tweaks uh, to improve that as well. So this really begs the question, how do we get meetings booked with 132 people? And you guys see what I'm doing here, right? I am just backwards engineering the whole process. We set a goal and we're working it back step by step so that we know exactly what we need to be doing per day when I get to the end of this video. Starting with a goal in mind for this year and working out those steps will actually mean that you hold yourself accountable and will actually make it happen. It's people who try and keep it in their heads and don't write it down, don't manifest it, don't visually see it are the people that just go back to old habits and use a strategy called hope where they hope the phone rings they hope they get some work and they end up in this endless cycle of doing sales doing the project and then having what we call famine periods where there's no money coming in and they're back on the hunt for more work. So 132 meetings, how do we actually do this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. This comes down to the top of the funnel stuff, which is traffic and leads. People who know about you, people who actually then come and have those conversations with you. And we need those leads. We need the data so that we can start to message these people and let them know that you exist. If you haven't seen it, I released a video on seven steps to start a video production company, which has some really valuable advice for anyone starting a video editing agency. So definitely take a look at that as well, because in that I'll also share with you some tips to make this process a little bit easier. But for now, I'm going to give you two tools that you can use right away. The first is called Phantom Buster and the second is D7 Lead Finder. So let's say you're a video editing agency that wants to work with businesses to repurpose their content because that's a very valid type of agency that you can run this year. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put in some business industries and then these programs will scrape the internet for contact information. So email addresses, phone numbers, websites, uh, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, all of this information. And then we're going to plug that into a program called Lemlist. Lemlist, I've spoken about loads on this channel before because we're a huge advocate of them and we use them in our sales process too. It enables you to put all of those new email addresses into Lemlist and automate the whole sales process. So you can be on the beach somewhere or working on an, a really cool project for a client or 
simply doing whatever it is you enjoy while this automation software in the background is sending thousands of emails. And my suggestion here is that you send around about a thousand emails a month. From a thousand emails, you should be landing around about 10 meetings. And if not, then it's usually down to one of these things. Either the email itself is really, really bad. And actually I talk about this in my live workshops and also in the training events that we run. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to find out what's in those emails. The other thing is that you've got the wrong contact. You lack portfolio. And if you're starting out, then maybe consider doing a free to fee strategy, which is where you basically work with someone for free with the view to charge them later on so that you can build out your portfolio. Then you become an asset. You've also got assets to help make that conversion process better too. So many people forget that following up is such an important part of the sales process. And that's not always following up by email. That's actually phoning them and just saying, hey, I dropped you a message like X, Y, Z. I'm a local business. I just wondered I can really provide some value here. Or it's dropping them a DM or a Facebook message. Think about the multi-channel approaches you can use to get their attention and make sure that your message is seen. And the final thing that might be causing a problem is your domain health. And again, I break this down in my workshops, but in essence, it means that all of your emails are getting flagged and they're going into the spam or junk folder. And that's not a position you want to be in. So you definitely need to overcome that hurdle. After a month or two of sending a thousand emails, you can really start to scale that up because it's important that in the early stages, you start to increase those conversion rates. So you look at those emails, you look at your outreach strategy and you tweak it so that you're not just getting 10 meetings a month now, you're now getting 20. And then you're going to tweak your conversion percentages. So when you're having meetings with people, they're saying yes a lot more than they're saying no. So you go from 50% to 75%. And by having this all documented in a business plan, it gives you actionable steps, it gives you targets, and it all of a sudden makes that $100,000 goal that we set at the start look much more viable. Not to mention that as your experience grows, you're able to do a lot more in a lot less time, which means you can still charge $500 a day or $500 for a project, but you complete it in one or two hours because you've got that good. The alternative is that you increase your day rate at the same time. The thing that kills businesses is consistency, not having a consistent cash flow, which is why we recommend the regular content plan or RCP system, which works on a retainer basis. That is something that we do cover in our training event and also in our live workshops. And the th great thing about our live workshops is that they are interactive. So there is back and forth there. So click the link below and make sure you register your free spot at our next workshop. And if you've missed it, then why not take a look at this video because it shows you some of the most lucrative video editing agencies to start this year and some niches that will be really beneficial. Or this is the video I remembered earlier if you want some more strategies on step-by-step -step processes to grow in a successful business.